Greetings everyone. Today on the bench, have some microphone fun here for you. Well, a few videos ago, I made a video about Electret microphones and I upgraded this one here with newer Electret capsules. And uh, here's the model number. These are minus 24 dB, which is very sensitive for a microphone and minus 80 dB noise which is low noise so these are really nice microphones meant for recording in quiet environments so I think for natural field recording they would be nice however I still have an issue with the stereo image I have my little uh, Olympus LS7 PCM recorder here it has its built-in microphones and of course this one here very nice frequency response and everything with those new Electret upgrades to that and the wind muffs help prevent wind buffeting sounds however when I'm recording sounds and play it back the image sounds collapse the stereo image doesn't have that wide sound I'm looking for for example, the other night I was recording insect sounds. They were up in the trees. You can hear them on the left side. I can hear them on the right centered pan. But when I play the recording back, it all sounds kind of squinched down. There's just no real experience to it. So I guess I'm looking for more of a binaural experience, like what a human actually standing there would hear. So I've come up with this contraption here. It's made out of acrylic. And the microphone capsules are in the middle of this large panel area. And these are folded back 60 degrees from the front flat surface here. And the idea is to get some more stereo separation with the sounds. You might be saying, why don't I try some cardioid type pattern capsules. They do make those and I am going to buy some and play with them. But the big deal with those, they have poor low frequency response. Because the mics have what are known as a transfer function and changing the transfer function from omnidirectional or isotropic means you're affecting the frequency response as well because to give the microphone directionality requires changes which makes the mic no longer flat in frequency response. And I don't want to get into all that here. I will a little bit. So I come up with this microphone that does retain the low frequency response because I'm using those same Electret capsules. But if you consider this whole thing as a microphone, it has a different transfer function than the capsules do alone. Now human hearing is considered from 20 to 20 kilohertz. And that's a thousand-fold range in wavelength. So, for example, at 20 hertz, the wavelength is 60 feet, about 18 meters. That's longer than my house. And at 20 kilohertz, it's only about that much, 17 centimeters or two-thirds of an inch. What's important about that is how these panels affect the pickup pattern of the microphone. So at low frequencies this panel is not going to be affecting the frequency response or the pickup pattern of the microphone. Well, at higher frequencies, this will start being more directional. So sounds coming from this direction will be picked up more from this capsule than from the other side. So how this is affected depends on the frequency and the size of this panel. And it's not a sudden thing either. It starts taking effect around a quarter wavelength and gets stronger as the frequency gets higher. In other words, the wavelength gets shorter. So at the size I made this thing, it should start taking effect in the upper hundreds hertz range and get stronger as it gets up beyond one kilohertz and, you know, higher. But you might say, well, won't your lower frequency still be omnidirectional? Yes, they will, but if you think about it, that's how our heads work, or our own ears. Because the sound coming to your right ear is blocked by your head, 
from reaching your left ear as much. And because the size of your head, it only happens at higher frequencies as well, just like this. So that's the basic idea with this thing. It's not complete. I just have the capsules taped in. And I do need to get some sort of fabric or something foam for, you know, protect from wind buffeting. I have a block here with a ta quarter 20 tapped hole so I can mount it on a tripod or even put a handle on for, you know, manual use. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take you outside, give you a sample using this compared to this microphone and showing how different the stereo image is. Okay, we are outside. A click sound to line up the audio. So I'll start with this microphone. Apologies about the cicadas, they are annoying. I was hoping they wouldn't be so active in the morning, but they're going already. So I'll just move around and listen to the stereo image as I move around. Okay, I'm moving to the left side of the microphone. Check, check. You can hear the car go by. It's hard really to judge the direction of the car with this microphone. I'm moving back over to the right side. Microphone's right side. There you go, I'm on the right side and now I'll just keep talking. One, two, three, check, check. One, two, three, as I can over back to the left. So you can hear the difference in the stereo image as I come back around front and center. So now I will switch to the other microphone. Okay, I have the new microphone installed. Line up the audio. And we'll do the same thing. Hopefully a car goes by and we can hear the difference in stereo image. So I'll go over to the microphone's right side, check one, two, three, check. I'll move around as I'm speaking, and hopefully you can notice the difference in the stereo image as I move around to the microphone's left. There is a car going by. It went from the right to the left side. So hopefully that's more apparent with this microphone. And my position in the stereo image should also be more apparent. I'll come back around here and I'll just shut up for a minute. Okay, that's good. I can hear some birds. I could hear, of course, insects, the highway noise, passing cars on the road. So I think that is a good example of the microphone. Okay, so I played back the audio from these microphones and listened through headphones and regular speakers and Wow, the stereo image just opens up so much more with this thing. With headphones, I could still hear some stereo image as I moved around. But you know, the ambience, the, you know, the insects, the cars going by, the birds, the traffic from the highway, I could hear all that in a much better stereo image with this. So yeah, so far this is a success. So what I need to do yet is, like I said, I need some sort of foam or fabric covering for this. You know, like these have, so I don't get wind buffeting. And um, I still need to build the little power box for this because not all my devices have plug-in power. 
which these little electrets need a power source. Also that box will have a sensitivity switch. So I can drop it by, I don't know, 8 or 9 dB. Because these are sensitive mics and if you're recording something louder like thunder, I was getting clipping so I need to dial that back for some types of recordings. And uh, pretty much finish this thing up. So there you have it. A little uh, update to my field recording microphone setup. Thanks for watching.